Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. This is episode 49 and today I will be continuing mining until we are done mining and then I will go train something else probably. Maybe combat. It's been a while since I've done combat. It's pretty boring in my opinion but it has to be done. So mine, mine, mine. Yep. It's so exciting. It's all exciting. Probably will get a very decent mining level though. Like maybe we'll even get lucky and get 30 in this episode. Depending on how things go. Okay, there we go. I'm like rearranging my room as I talk. It's weird. Level 23. Yep. I'll just go fill up my inventory. Cause it's not a big deal. The only problem about playing on a world with not many people is that the respawn rate of iron ore is lower. But the competition I was having was not fun. It's just not. So next week is Fate of the Gods, a new quest, if they don't delay it. But I don't know. Sounds like another quest where they're trying to make us do decisions and things and I just don't think that's very fun. Also what this button here existing is very much getting on my nerves. Also the fact that you can't get rid of um, this button whenever you do the custom one. You are required to have that one because you have to spend money on Jagex stuff. I mean, how else are you going to buy bonds, or treasure hunter keys, or Solomon points, or membership, if you don't have to have this button taking up space on your screen? But regardless, let's just keep mining. Let's see, what else? While I do this, I can work on looking at what else has been updated recently. Looks like there's nothing else in the main news, so there's two other places I can check for awesome news. Patch notes and the hidden updates. Patch notes. You can find the patch notes in the recent game update section of the official forums, if you don't know. Oh right, the new logo. I don't get the new logo, actually. I don't know if I can find it anywhere. No. I don't know where it would appear inside the game, really. Maybe here? No. No, it's not in there. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the new logo. It seems kind of dumb. Like, what's with the tail thing of fire? I don't get it. Anyway... Hmm... Lots of... They've been doing lots of stuff with Heist. I still haven't even tried Heist. I'm just not interested in it, because the rewards have no use for me. But... Right, the ammo that automatically goes in your ammo slot. I think I mentioned that on Monday. Oh, right, you can right click the um, divination holes in the ground, I think, to choose the option instead of having to go on that menu. So that's something, at least. They brought back the bank chest from the Armadillo camp, you know, south of Falador. I don't know why they did that, but they did. And anything else? Anything else? The lobby timer on sinkholes has been sped up. Sounds useful if you do sinkholes. Court cases now give XP lamps. And I filled up my inventory apparently. While not paying attention. 
And it seems like maybe they realized that their HTML5 stuff HTML5 stuff exists because they've been talking about that lately on Twitter and stuff. I told them it was a bit ridiculous that their uh, companion app thing doesn't work on every browser. It only works on, like, Chrome and Safari. And there is really no excuse at this point in time for them to not have... Wait, to not have at least fixed it for one more browser? Even if it's not a browser I use. But why? I don't get it. Why aren't they doing that... It's almost seeming to me like they've got some sort of deal with Google where they only update their stuff for Chrome because I really can't think of any other reason for them to be neglecting the other browsers so much. The only reason they support Safari at all is because the uh, iPhone market is so big. And it's not much of a cell phone app if you don't support at least two different brands of cell phones. But even, I'd want to use it on my computer, but I don't use Chrome. And I definitely don't use Safari. Don't know why, why Safari even needs to be on Windows, really. Anyway, um, let's check on the hidden updates. Hidden updates are things that aren't mentioned in the news or in the patch notes. Right, the world gate, I haven't gone to check that out. They updated some of the circus mage armor. Left and right click arrows. I don't know what that means. Apparently some arrows were shrunk. Oh, you can't turn local chat off, apparently. Where is that? Yeah, that is beyond stupid. Because if you are doing, like, a video or something, you might not want to have your friend's chat appear. And there's really just no reason to have that. Like, why can't you have an off option? I don't know. And finally... Pray player moderator's private messages will now show even if private chat is turned off. I'm guessing you can still add them to your ignore list if you don't want to see them talking. But I guess that's good for getting people's attention and stuff. If you're like, hey, you are... Um, people think you're botting or something. I don't know. Okay, almost level 25. There we go. Nothing, because there's absolutely nothing until level 30, which is kind of strange. Oh, look at that. So we won't get level 30, because I'm not going to keep mining. Because I hate mining. I'll keep going until this urn fills up. How about that? That sound like a good deal, everyone? I'm not hearing any complaints has nothing to do with the fact that I record this well ahead of the release. Oh, one other thing that annoyed me about One of a Kind, the uh, new quest from last week, was the Cat Speak amulet. Because I had it in my Cramulet, and you have to separate it out and then recharge it in Berthope before you can find Bob the Cat. And I was surprised to find out that there's no, like, friend chat that tracks Bob the Cat. I kind of expected maybe, like, a Penguins type chat. Or maybe even just the Penguins chat to tell you where in World 60 Bob is. It seems like something they could do. He's really not that hard to keep track of anymore because if I look at the map here, he's really quite limited now. He can go, like, from this area and he can slide around the top here and go in this little area. That's really it, so not even half of the non-members area, and that's all he can explore now. It used to be he could cover almost the entire world, but they've added those, um, whatchamacallit, guards that block paths off 
to keep noobs from wandering into dangerous areas, basically. And that also keeps stuff from wandering. It makes finding penguins easier, it makes finding Bob the Cat easier. And so on. But I kind of wish they would make it where he could walk through those, because it was kind of fun, you know, seeing him in Sears Village or something. And now you can't. But regardless, enough about RuneScape updates I talked about in this episode and last episode. What kind of name is that? I don't know. So let's go on up here. Something else I talked about in the last episode was my fan site, Orbscape.com. I think I'm actually going to work on adding some new features today. By today, I mean Wednesday, because that's when I'm recording this. But I, I've been wanting to add for a long time, like, bonus XP items or stuff. So, you know, like the lumberjack outfit and things. And I've just never gotten around to programming it because it's a bit complicated. I want to do it right, which means I have to go back and test and make sure that Lumberjack boosts XP for every individual thing because some stuff doesn't get boosted. That's just an example. I don't know if there's anything Lumberjack doesn't work on. Besides, of course, Dungeoneering stuff. But that, yeah, that's already something. But I have to go and manually check that for each skill that I want to add that for, so that's why I put it off. But I think I'm finally going to get around to doing that. I want to make my calculators just the best possible skill calculators. Which I already think they're pretty great, but... Yep. Okay, so that's that. We need to go turn this in now. See how many levels that gets us. Maybe one? Two would be nice, but I'm doubting it because the XP rate from mining ones is okay, but not, you know, not on the level that, like, thieving or dungeoneering is. It's really weird that thieving ones are such great experience, because it's a relatively slow skill otherwise. You would think, like, woodcutting or something would give a great amount of experience. Okay. Two levels. Oh, I'm surprised. Nothing new, though, but still, that'll make mining a much easier task in the future. Okay, let's... Oh. Right. Oh, man, another member's item. The exact thing I didn't need. Right. Let's, get... let's go sell my extra ore, or smith it. One of those two. Or smith it, then sell it. That's always an option, except I need to pull it out of the notes, so I'll just sell it. Oh, something I just thought of is, if you haven't done the one-of-a-kind quest, be careful, because at one point you will be in the wilderness, but as far as I can tell, you're not in any danger unless you lose connection. Because while I was talking to the dragon in the wild, I lost connection randomly, which is a very rare occurrence for me, actually, so it was just stupid timing. And when I logged back in, I was actually in the wild, but luckily nobody was around because I put off the quest for a week, and I was able to just hop back in the cave real quick. But do be careful. Just because you're technically safe doesn't mean you should bring all your rarest items. There could be somebody waiting there if you had a connection issue. Which, even if your internet is perfect, the servers can always kick you off. Or you could have the 6 hour time limit or any other number of reasons that might kick you out of the game at the worst time possible. Wish I had thought to mention that in the last episode, but whatever. Oh yes, I sold these things. I forgot about that. Just sell that low price to get it done quick so I can sell some more things. Right, I wanted to sell the imp hide. Imp hide, imp hide, imp hide. That's it. Three more bank spaces will be very useful if these actually sell. only need one to sell instantly. So, of course, neither does. Whatever. 
I'll just do something else with this last one. Yay, you can't see how much money you get. Okay, so I was thinking about training combat. The only problem is I have no idea where to train combat. It's just so complicated anymore. I could go to my main area that I've been training in. The uh, pirates or whatever. South of Serum. The muggers and stuff. Maybe I'll do that. I don't think I'm high enough level to fight many other things anyway. Okay, right, and what else do I need? Ring of Potency? Is that it? I guess I'll put everything on and see if I'm missing anything. Get on. I'm missing my weapon! Yes, that might be important. Right, which one is the good one? The Mind Spike or the uh, Mind Spike? I think I tossed the Mind Spike, that sucks. So I'll use the mine spike that doesn't suck. Is there really no better staff that I can wield? Um, do they still appear here? Weapons. Elemental staff level 1. But like, battle staffs are members only. So that's really it, isn't it? Level 5 is the best air staff you can get as a non-member. Any other one you want would have to use air runes instead of that, which I don't like. Ah well, we're strong enough. I will bring a couple shrimp and a couple anchovies, because why not? Um, on second thought... I'll bring sardines. It's the same amount, and I can maybe get rid of all of them. Down to Port Serum! Okay. Here we are. Once I get a little bit stronger, I think I'll be strong enough to fight something else, something better. Maybe hill giants? I don't know. Or maybe I'll get members, finally. I haven't forgotten about that. It's just, I did not get as much money as I thought I was going to. And therefore, could not afford it. Okay, so I think I'm still really too weak, maybe deal with these guys. We'll try. Hey guys, you want to die? I think you want to die. It is nice of them to be weak to air. Right, I want to get... Which one's magic? None of them? Whatever. I could have sworn that I set this up, didn't I? Go. Oh, I did. Okay. I just skipped two because I was going to make ranged into number two. Okay, some coins. Yes, heal a bit from that. And dead. I have gotten stronger. That coins took a while to appear, but whatever. Ooh, we're safe spotting this guy. Sucks to be him. Let's kill him with mega magic. He's dead. There we go. Let's hope I get a few levels and that will hopefully make it easier the next time I go dungeoneering from a daily. Never predict when that's going to happen. The odds of it happening are actually pretty low, I think, because you can only have two at once, two daily tasks at once. So the amount of skills it can choose from, since it includes member skills, is quite high.
So I think we're actually lucky to have had it like two or three times so far. Fighting a female pirate. Is it just me or is her head too big for her body? It definitely seems that way. Or is it just her neck is too small? Something seems off about her. Oh, she dropped Arthrunes. Guess I didn't need to buy all those. Let's use this again. Oh, they're starting to get angry at me. It's not good. The drops are taking a while to appear. I'm getting some serious network lag here. Which is weird because the ping on this was fairly nice. Below 60. I'm used to playing in worlds with like 100 something or even 200 ping with no issues. Oh, she's back again. Weird looking. And what's really weird is I've been uploading constantly during this episode until now, when the lag started. Yay, defense 25, combat 53. Oh, great. You made me miss what it said. I hate you. Oh, well. Point is, defense. I take less hits now. And you guys suck. Come on, die. There we go. Attack that one and use your mega attack. Your um, ultimate is what it's called. Okay, I'm taking a bit of damage now. Let's see the drop there. There you go. I wonder what my goal should be. What level should I work towards? Maybe just, um, just until the end of the episode. Whatever level I am then, probably level 27 magic and maybe that's it. Maybe some decent progress towards level 26 defense. But I'll just keep going till the end of the episode and then next week we will do a quest. Unless I feel like doing something else. When I say I'm going to do something, it's not a promise, it's just a, a hope. His plans can always change. There's no reason for me to stick to something if a better idea comes around. Let's force choke this guy. That didn't do much damage. It's weird how their health bars aren't updating correctly, it's annoying. Yeah, you're dead. Now pick up this. She's almost dead. I wish you could queue moves that you don't have the points for yet. That would be useful. But whatever. Killing everyone. Okay, these guys are getting my nerves. I'm going to go take a small break from them and kill the muggers. Because they're much weaker. And still weak to magic, which is nice. We can heal up. They're not aggressive to us, so that's always good. A charge bow. I could change. Trange? Yes, I could change my range. If that was a word, I would totally do it. Yep. I wish I had that butterfly thing that heals up a ton of points. Because that would make food much less useful. Oh, look at that. Almost at a level. These guys weren't such crappy experience. Yep. They should be about half experience based on their life points. I don't know if they actually are. But they've got half the health, so they should be half the experience, logically. Theoretically. 
There we go. Anything new? Oh, come on. I'm not in combat. There we go. Rune mechanics. Okay. Enchant emerald. That's something. Make dueling rings. Except I think those are members only as well, so I can't. Well, no, they can't be. No, I don't know. What would you enchant that's emerald that's non-members? I don't have a clue. But there must be something you can make, otherwise they wouldn't have the spell be non-members. Could be the uh, amulet or the necklace. Kill this guy. Completely dead. Yeah, this experience rate sucks. I'm gonna go to the high level guys. They're more fun anyway. Hey guys, I'm back. And my hit rate against them should be slightly higher because they're actually weak to air spells. So I am... 29 levels lower than the dragon in Dragon Slayer. It's going to take a while. I mean, I, I probably could beat him if I bought high level food and stuff. Potion. Whatever potions are non members, I think. Attack potion. And just the best armor I could possibly have, the best weapon, the best everything, I probably could win. But it would not be easy. Come on, die! Um, actually their XP isn't even double. That's weird. They might actually be a worse experience rate than the muggers. Jeez, she's screaming a lot. Okay, let's kill another pirate. Oh, great. Just what I needed. What level are hobgoblins? Wait, they're lower level? Well, forget this then. Hey guys. Don't mind me, I just need to heal up real quick before I actually fight you. Okay. Dang, they're grouping. Okay. Oh, they wandered off. Okay, that works too. Because hobgoblins should have better drops, I think. despite being weaker. I didn't realize hobgoblins were such a low level. I thought they'd be in the 50s or 60s. Like I've said before, this new combat level thing, I just haven't learned it yet. Especially not for lower level stuff. But even for higher level stuff, like you say a Celestial Dragon's level 182, I have no idea how strong that is compared to other dragons even. Okay, let's go kill this one. Almost out of time now. But I'm about to gain a constitution level, so that's cool. Yep, definitely going to be stronger for the next time we need to do combat, because we gain a magic level, we gain a defense level, and we are gaining a constitution level. Yep, I'm awesome. More life points. Clean that real quick, yeah. Whatever. I'll kill one more and then this episode will be over. Oh, the the disconnect in the bars is really getting on my nerves. Okay, there we go. 
Um, right, take the Marin Till. Let's get over in this corner, I think. That'll be relatively safe. No! Why does that pop up? Okay, let's just rest while I end the episode. So yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Next week I'll be doing a quest, so make sure to subscribe to see that. And also like this video if you liked it. And comment if you have anything to say. I will see you in the next episode.